Oh, good morning everyone, and the only thing we're going to look at today are Phragmopediums. And maybe the odd Buffy Bedlam. Well, the first one I'd like to show you is this uh, Kavakii hybrid. Kavakii cross uh, Sargentianum, giving uh, Phragmopedium lasverinus. Uh, growing very, very nicely. Plenty of... Uh, New growth, as you can see, down there, lovely. Nice big spike, long spike, and they're going to be big flowers when this uh, these bulbs start to swell. There they are. Phragmopedium lasverinus. Another Kavakii hybrid. It's uh, Fritz Schomburg, Phragmopedium Fritz Schomburg cross between Kavakii and Bessai. It's got uh, two nice uh, bulbs coming through there. And that's a beautiful red flower and uh, not much reflex into the uh, to the bloom on this one. Phragmopedium Fritz Schomburg. Here's a Phragmopedium Grandi. One of the few I have flowering. Uh, there you can see the, uh, the spike coming up and just getting ready for showing the buds. And uh, quite a few do growth around the bottom. You see them there. Very nice too. Here's another frag grande. That's uh, the in spike and uh, probably at the same stage as the last one. You know, as regards blooming, probably will oh, take at least another month yet. Another one with some very nice new growth. A multi fund uh, Ainsworthy eye, Phragmopedium Ainsworthy eye, which is coming up with a very thin. Uh, spike for some reason and uh, a couple of buds in there just see one but there's another one further down that's Phragmopedium Ainsworthy Eye Phragmopedium Olaf Gross a multi-growth plant this uh, it's been flowering quite a bit the flowers keep drop off and it puts another one up so it's a sequential bloomer very nice too you can see it's got a multitude of gross there. That's the Phragmopedium Olaf Gross. And this is a little division I took off uh, my main plant a few months ago. And for some reason it's flowering and it shouldn't be doing at this size. It's got uh, two gross now and uh, a couple of buds, three buds showing. One in flower, I'll just try and lift it up for you, then you can see it. Yeah, beautiful. Phragmopedium, what is it? Andium fire, that's what it is. Now, I said I was uh, doing this uh, video for Phragmopediums, but I couldn't resist putting a couple of, couple of Paphia pedlums in. And this is one is Corolla Ordenauer, a cross between Chamberlainianum and Prince Edward of York. This is the second plant I have of this and it's the first time this one is flowering. Looks very, very good, very, very dark and the beautiful flowers when they come out. That's Paphiopedlum Corolla Ordenauer. Paphiopedlum Rothschildianum. This is the first flowering for this plant and it's only got one flower on which is very unusual. Uh, it's just started, we are putting it outside last year, it started putting up a new growth which is doing very well. And it's generally a sign uh, when they start putting out new growth that it's, it's going to flower. And uh, well this is proof of it. Paphiopelum rotulianum. And the last one for this uh, session is Paphiopedlum dianum. Nice, sort of a, a delicate sort of flower. 
They're not small, quite large, but quite delicate. Beautiful foliage and uh, some nice growth on it. Paphiopedlum dianum. Well, I'll finish by just saying that uh, these are the plants I have outside. It's absolutely wet through again. Uh, these plants are always wet, but they don't seem to be taking any harm. Uh, the one you can see here is a, uh, a Crestwood, which I promised to someone, but uh, I need them to get in touch with me before, uh, before I can send it and where to send it to. So thank you for watching everyone and uh, hope you all have a good day, hope all your orchids are going well and I'll see you later. Bye.